Hey guys, it's Brian. Welcome to our tutorial on constructing quantum teleporters, which is one of the cooler things you can do with QCraft. This is actually our second take at this tutorial because as a couple folks on the internet uh, pointed out, I actually had a little information in the prior version that uh, was a bit misleading and so we wanted to correct that and thanks to uh, Pinaz993 for bringing this to our attention. Much uh, respect for that. So to make a quantum teleporter, uh, let's go over the stuff you need. You will need a quantum computer and in fact you'll need an entangled quantum computer. Uh, the crafting recipes for all of these can be found of course on the QCraft wiki at wiki.qcraft.org. You will also need uh, ice, you will need obsidian, you will need full gold blocks, and you will need uh, the uh, quantum dust to ultimately make essence of observation, which will be part of the crafting process as well. So let's go through the steps. This is a little bit of a complicated contraption to build, so we'll break it all down for you. The first step to the process is uh, just to go over the construct here. We're going to actually build what you see before you here, this construct that consists of these pillars and space for the quantum computer in the middle of it. To do that, we're mostly using some straightforward Minecraft resources, but we need to make a special kind of observer-dependent block to make this work. So like making any observer-dependent block, we'll start with essence of observation in the middle. We now need to fill our crafting grid with obsidian and this is going to go in all of the slots except one. Into that slot we're going to put a block of gold. This particular configuration will result in an observer dependent block that resolves to obsidian when it is observed from every direction except the south. You're actually going to create two of these and then you're going to just modify the recipe three more times and you're going to create three more sets of two, each one putting that gold block in one of the different cardinal directions. So now we've got our west, we would do the same thing again from the, nor uh, the north and from the east. These two, the up and the down direction, stay exactly as they are all the time. And again, you'll need two blocks from each direction. I've actually gone ahead and done this previously before I started the video. And so you'll see down in my crafting, uh, in my inventory, I should say, I've got those blocks and I've arranged them in a configuration just so it makes it a little easier for me to remember where they are. So now that I've got that, I will go back into the world and we're going to go over here to this area. I've laid this out with a couple of wool blocks just to make our build a little bit easier. Now we can build the teleporter matrix. The first thing you need is your quantum computer or entangled quantum computer. We'll place that down. The next thing you need is a block of ice, which must be placed on a square adjacent to the quantum computer. So it's got to be any of the squares uh, touching it on the same level. And now we're going to build our pillars. Here is how this works. As you arrange the pillars, you're going to use those ODBs we created. We call them anchor ODBs. And the anchor ODBs are going to go at the base of our pillars. We're going to place them in a particular configuration so that when we do place them, the block resolves to the gold face when we're inside our teleport area. So you can see I was inside the teleport area, that's gold if I go out here and look at it. Now it's obsidian as it would be from every other vantage point. We're going to do that for each of our cardinal directions. Here's the next one. And here we'll go with the next one. right there, and the final one. And so you can see if I'm standing inside my teleport area, all four of those anchor ODBs are going to resolve to gold, and that's what is important here. 
The next step in constructing the pillars is to place obsidian blocks on top of them. And you're going to place those as high as you would like your teleport area to go. In this case, I am going to place them three blocks high. And so when I teleport, my teleporter matrix will be as high as in this case from the anchor block all the way up to the top of this block. And then uh, one other note about that is you can actually build these into the ground below the block and you can contain an area that is uh, eight blocks in every direction by doing this. And then the last uh, step of uh, constructing the matrix is on top of each one of these pillars I need to place a single regular old glass block and that is really important I am told by our friends at Caltech for preventing uh, conflicts with special relativity. Now I have completed the teleporter matrix. If I'm teleporting what I need to do is now that I've built, <clears throat> excuse me, built one part of the matrix I need to build its counterpart and the counterpart must be built to the exact same dimensions and specifications. I'll go back up here and take a look at that. There we go. Now I've placed these two right next to each other for demonstration purposes, but there's no reason they have to be. They can be anywhere in the world. But again, the same dimensions, the same configuration. Uh, and once again, those anchor ODBs need to be at the same level uh, as the computer and ice block and aligned with each other. Now, if I go over here and place a few blocks inside my teleporter and go over and right click on my quantum computer, I'll get this energize button. And if I click that, you can see those blocks are gone and they are now over in the same area over here. In fact, if I place something in both areas, like so, and energize again, you'll see the, con the contents of the two areas are swapped just like that. And that is how teleportation works.